Hi everyone, this is Dr. Dan Puperi, and we're going to start learning Python by learning how to install Python on your Mac computer. The cool thing about Mac is it has Python already installed on it. The bad thing is it's Python 2, which is a little old, so we want to upgrade to Python 3. But we don't want to get rid of Python 2 because the Mac still needs it. So we're going to have the Mac have both Python 2 and 3 installed. So Macs are really awesome because the OS X is built on a Unix platform. And so you have a lot of power in the Mac because you can pretty much do anything you want from a terminal. So we're going to be using the Mac terminal a lot. Um, many of you might not have used it before, so I'm going to show you kind of how to find it. So the first thing you can do is find it using command spacebar to bring up spotlight. And you can type terminal. And it brings up this text terminal where you can type commands. We can also find it in the, in the finder. If we go to applications, and we just we can just search for terminal. Okay, and so it brings up the terminal. We can even just copy that shortcut to our desktop so that we can access it later. Okay, and so like I said, we have our terminal up, and so we can just run Python by typing Python. And you can see it brings up Python. It is Python version 2.7.10. This is Python 2, and that's okay. It works just as well. So it's just running Python in what we call interactive mode. It's just like the MATLAB command window, where we can give it commands, and they execute committee immediately. So if we do like 2 plus 3, right, we get the answer of 5. If, you know, we can, we can do whatever we want. A equals 1, B equals 2, and we can do A plus B, and we get our answer of 3. Okay? And so the way to get out of Python, then, is use the exit functional. Okay, so there are several options that we can use to install Python. Now, one, we could use a pre-built program like Anaconda. And Anaconda is an IDE built with, has an IDE built in. It has a lot of packages already configured in it. But you lose a lot of control of what is in your Python installation. Now, we could also just download Python 3 from python.org, like what we're going to do with the Microsoft PCs. But I'd rather just show you the best way, um, which is, uh, to follow some guides that are on the web to install Python ourselves, so we get a lot of control and we kind of understand what's going on a little better. I don't have a Mac and I've never done this before, uh, but we're going to follow some of the guides I found on the web that I've posted on Canvas. So if you go to the install and setting up Python Canvas page, you can see I have a couple of website guides. The first one is just really simple. It's the simplest instructions. The second one um, kind of has some expanded instructions if you're interested in seeing a little more of what's going on. Um, the second one also tells you to create virtual environments. You don't really have to do that if you don't want to, but if you want to try, that's something you can experiment with. Okay, and so I'm actually using a Mac in the Faculty Innovation Center. So we're just going to see how this works. If I can get this to work here, I feel free, pretty good about you guys getting it to work at home too. Um, and the other thing I'd like to say is just by going through this terminal, you guys are going to get some experience working in a Unix environment, and that will make you a better and more marketable engineer as well.